Hey Max Impactors, it's mid-June, which means that at this time of year we start to get these, which are called garlic scapes. And I'm going to show you how to make a garlic scape mashed potatoes. We are going to make these mashed potatoes in our Instapot. So if you go here, you'll see that we used about six to eight medium-sized potatoes. If you can see, they're cut in rounds. We have the water filled up so they're above the potatoes, which is about four cups. Then we're going to put one teaspoon of salt in there. And then we're going to take the lid. And we're going to put the lid on. Now we're going to set it to eight minutes. While the potatoes are cooking, we're going to work on the scapes. Now if you look at the scapes, you have the stem and you have this up here, which is the flower head. And what you're going to do with these is first off is if you have a a bigger one like this one was a little um, this one was a little bit more mature and then the, the stem gets really kind of stiff down here at the bottom okay you don't want that so we're just gonna cut this one a little bit shorter okay so you get past the stiff part and then we're also gonna take off the flower head and then once we have that we're gonna set that aside and then you're gonna just take it kinda like you would with chives and you're just gonna kinda cut it into little small pieces. So I'm going to go do that and then we're going to show you what to do with them after that's done. Okay, let's finish up this recipe. So, we have our scapes all chopped up. We have unsalted butter. This is four tablespoons. We're going to throw this in our little cast iron pan here. Turn the heat on. You want to heat this a little bit slowly. And we're going to wait till the butter is melted and bubbly. We have the butter nice and bubbly and we are going to add our scapes into the pan. And we're gonna let them saute for about three minutes. It's been three minutes and now we are going to add a half a cup of milk. The way I remember the ingredients for this recipe and I would do this even without the scapes, is it's a half a stick of butter and a half a cup of milk. And all you want to do is warm up the milk to put in the potatoes because it will keep the potatoes from uh, getting all shiny. Now that the milk is warm, we can do the final step. We're going to just pour the liquid with the scapes in with the potatoes. And then we're going to put about a teaspoon of salt in there. That's really to taste. And then finally, we're going to just take our masher. You can use a mixer if you want, but I just like using this masher. And you're going to mash it up. There you have it. Garlic scape mashed potatoes. I know you're going to really enjoy this recipe, so look down below for a description of the full recipe in written form, and don't forget to comment, like, and share with your friends, and we'll see you in the next video.